So uh, why don't you tell people a little about yourself? Okay, well, uh, I started my YouTube channel uh, back in 2010. Uh, hold on, let me go. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the wrong source. That's oh, okay. Pretty early. I go through the same thing when I make videos. It's like, yeah. sometimes I forget to turn the, the auto recorder. Alright, so uh, today I had a treat. Decided to come down to Jacob's nursery to check out his grand opening. I've been watching this guy on YouTube forever. Well, not forever, since I started <laughs> back into this hobby. It was about a month ago. And I stumbled upon this guy talking about plants. So I'm a huge plant tank guy and I want to get back into it. And watching him taught me a lot. So, Jacob, this is. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you your, so much. Thank you. Your nursery and everything. I know that that's a huge thing for you yeah it, it you know it, it's it's really unexpected I, I never thought in you know since I started in the hobby that I'd ever own my own place it's an absolutely dream come true it really is now yeah. you started doing the YouTube videos and stuff and then started getting the planned stuff and then that's how it all led to this yeah you know I started my YouTube channel back in 2010 and uh, I just started making tutorial videos about stuff and uh, you know, I, I originally started with like goldfish, you know, just general uh, aquarium fish. And then I got into planet tanks. And I mean, I've pretty much always, well, I haven't always grown plants, but I grew plants in tanks when I was a kid a while back from seeds. My mom got them from me in a pack from Walmart. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, I mean, I've done it before, but never to like the scale of like using CO2 and good substrate and fancy lights or anything. So once I got into that, I mean, I just really fell in love with aquatic plants they're just uh they're they're so unique you know everyone is pretty much different and uh you can really just do some amazing things with uh, planet tanks as far as you know aquascapes and uh you know different uh foreground plants especially you can create like a grassy type landscape it, it so many things you can do and that's what i fell in love with is just the diversity right. uh, of, of a planet tank um so, so yeah, I just started making videos about uh, Planet Tanks as I learned more and as I grew more in the hobby and uh, uh, learned more about CO2 and, and lighting and stuff. And uh, I, I had this fantastic opportunity uh, to own my own place uh, after I, I spoke to the owner of the property, actually. Uh, right. He's really good friends with my, my dad. And uh, he, he told me, you know, because I mentioned it to him that I, was, I wanted to open my own nursery. And he's like, yeah, you know, I got a three-acre ranch over in, uh, in Corona. Uh, California and uh, if you want you can you can use some of the land to you know for a nursery and I'm like really <laughs> I'm like cool. I'm like really <laughs> so I'm like okay great you know so um, I, I moved in here about a month and a half ago uh, I built the whole place by myself I had no help from anybody which was really hard because I mean working out here in the heat and I mean the greenhouse especially was a lot to build the trenches just for the uh, walls are three feet deep and the ground is like concrete so it was really really oh, difficult to dig it. yeah um but yeah i had this fantastic opportunity to build my own place and built it all from scratch and um uh it's a dream come true because i mean i've always wanted my own nursery and i never thought i would actually be able to own my own place one day but uh you know now that i have it's given me so much freedom to expand and um uh, you know especially because i was doing my business my aquatic plant business out of my apartment which was which was a, a really it was difficult to do I mean with the water and everything I had like three tanks in my apartment and it was it, it was crazy uh, and then my apartment manager found out and forced me to move remove everything which is a right. whole nother story yeah, um, we through that you could see all that uh, oh on this God. channel and yeah. The whole thing, yeah yeah and, and I actually had a huge pond in my garage forced me to move that out so I mean, it's just nice to now that I have my own place where I don't have to worry about anybody telling me what to do and have my own land that I can do whatever I want on, you know, and expand and do all kinds of stuff with. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm finally, uh, I'm, I'm satisfied. Wait, why did they place. make you move out of the garage? It's not on the balcony. Yeah, exactly. It's like, uh, I didn't think it was a big deal, but the manager, she, you know, she really didn't understand the whole concept of what I was doing. And she, she thought it was a fire hazard having lights over water and I oh, okay. all I could think about was well if the lights fall in the water typically a fire doesn't happen because I've had that before I've I've dropped lights and water in my tanks and nothing's exploded no. <laughs> I mean most of us have I think if we I, in, like, one time or another right yeah. in the hobby yeah so she said it was a fire hazard and forced me to move out and you know that's when I thought it was the end of my business I really thought and I was 
terrified because that's how I make my living. It's how I survive. But uh, thankfully, I my friend that lives in Rancho, Rancho Cucamonga, just down the freeway, about 20 miles from here, uh, he offered his garage to me, and, oh, cool. and I put my two tanks in there, and that's where I, I've done my business out ever since until I moved to this place. So, nice. Are you yeah. going to set up a, a huge tank like you did in your garage and balcony here soon? Um, you know what? I do want to build another pond, yeah, because yeah. the pond it gave me so much freedom to grow uh, a lot of different plants because it was just so big. Uh, with the tanks, since they're separate systems, uh, I'm, I'm forced to have like two separate filters, two different CO2 lines, and you know, but with the pond, it was just one big system, so it was much easier to control and just you know, one CO2 line, one filter, and everything. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely want to do that and build a bigger pond. And I, I actually do want to build a, a large in ground pond for koi fish, too. Oh, cool. here, yeah, because oh. I'm really into koi fish. I, I fell in love with koi fish, uh, ever since I uh, found uh, the uh, Kodama Koi Farm in, in uh, I think it's Honolulu, Hawaii, or, or Hilo, Hawaii, around there. Uh, but I've actually bought a fish from them before, and I fell in love with koi fish ever since. Uh, so I really want to build a pond here as well. So Oh, yeah. that, that'll be good. But good luck digging in. <laughs> yeah, the ground, I mean, seriously, it's like concrete. So, I mean, definitely I I have to bring an ex excavator in or something. But that's, that's down the road because that's a lot of money. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Now, uh, any advice for just beginning guys that starting Planet Tanks? Uh, well, if you're just starting in Planet Tanks, I would say that, you know, um, I would say start small, you know, start with a small tank. Um, and try to start with all the right things, you know, try to start with, I, I mean, I know it could, can be expensive in this hobby, but if you can try to start with good substrate, you know, eco complete ADA soil, that's really good stuff. Uh, try to start a tank with CO2 and good lighting. I mean, like I said, I know all that stuff is expensive. Some people start in this hobby on a budget, but if you start with all the right things, you kind of eliminate, uh, problems in the future, you know? Um, but if you can't start with all the right things, I mean, and you, if you and if you're only, if you're forced to start with the basic, you know, just gravel and maybe good lighting, you know, uh, start with just really easy to grow plants like Anubias, uh, like Laguidia, you know, plants along those lines. Java fern. Um, Java, fern. <laughs> Java fern can grow anywhere. Yeah, this <laughs> I, thing is I mean, like indestructible. Yeah, I mean, you could put that in probably straight bleach and it would still grow. Yeah. Well, maybe not, but oh, I'm just yeah, saying. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, you yeah, just start small. Try to start with all the right things if you can. Uh, just start with easy to grow plants, and uh, you know, I, I I can't stress enough that you, uh, you know, you stay focused in the hobby too. Don't don't let your tanks go, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks without without maintenance because you'll only be disappointed. So if you're going to get into this hobby, uh, make sure you're dedicated enough to devote the time, and you know, care that the tank's going to require. Because I mean. I know a lot of people get into this hobby because they see these really beautiful tanks on YouTube, you know, and they're like, I want that. But I mean, if you're not willing to devote the time to, you know, uh, make, it look, uh, make it look that way and uh, managing the tank and stuff, then you're, you're not going to achieve the results that you're looking for. So uh, just make sure pretty much as with any pet, any hobby, just make sure you have the time to devote to it. Because, I mean, aquariums in, in general, you know one day without the filter running it, that could be the end of the tank the tank could basically die the fish will die so you really have to stay on top of things you know so yeah just stay dedicated start small and as you grow in the hobby and learn more you know expand go bigger i mean i started out with a 10 gallon tank right. you know and uh, even before that i had a beta tank where i i, I grew those little seeds that i was talking <laughs> about earlier <laughs> which i can't believe they grew i mean i i knew nothing about nutrients so sear two or, or lighting there wasn't even a light over the tank and somehow the seeds sprouted i have no idea how that happened but but yeah you know just 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 do that and i think you'll be successful and of course watch people on youtube because there's so many channels uh, that give out great, great information. You know, not just mine, but you know, your channel, of course. And you know, there's Dustin's fish tanks and um, a lot of other ones. I can't remember right now. No, I just started but, out. I'm small, yeah, so it's like. But yeah. Dustin, uh, if you want to do yourself stuff? You know, you got uh, Joey, Joey, Joey. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. Fish. I, I always like watching Rachel Larry. Yeah. So there, there's a lot. There's a lot out there, and there's yeah. just so much information some conflicting but yeah i think the most important especially with planting tanks or with any aquarium is that you have to adjust to your aquarium you do you right? do like i yeah. right now i have four and each one is different right you can't, you can't have the same recipe for each one right yeah i mean it's just like i was saying with these are two separate systems and i'll have 
two different types of plants in here so maybe one might need more nutrients than the other more lighting than the other uh, so I mean yeah everything everything is different you yeah. know in this hobby but yeah there's a lot of great channels that give out a lot of great information and uh, you know but yeah like you said there are some people that you know don't really give out the right information uh, but you know all we can hope is that people on YouTube will you know try to learn a little bit more before they go out and make videos to the world and people follow their advice so yeah. they don't get disappointed yeah true. you know but uh, but yeah like I mean I'm, I'm fully supportive of anybody that wants to start a YouTube channel about about planet things because it helps grow the hobby yeah. and uh, it helps people you know learn more about this hobby and, and it's a great thing that people are you know making videos about this amazing hobby on YouTube true yeah true. so um Again, your channel is Jacob, Jacob Aquarium. Yeah, Jacob's Aquarium. And you also sell uh, aquatic plants on your website. Yeah, on jacobsaquarium.com. We have a bunch of different aquatic plants, and uh, we're soon working on getting the tissue culture tropica plants back because we, oh. we sold those before, but I stopped because uh, we've been having a hard time finding a supplier. But we recently found one, so we'll be getting those back. Those are really popular, so I know people, a lot of people have been asking me for them like daily. So we'll be getting those back in soon. But yeah, a lot of aquatic plants. And uh, since I have the space now, I'll be able to house more plants in different varieties. So you'll slowly see our, uh, our, our product line on our website increase uh, as far as the number of varieties that we offer of plants. Nice. So Nice. So, okay, just be sure to uh, go subscribe to his channel and uh, buy his plants over at jacobacorium.com. <laughs> And uh, yeah, all the links are down below. And uh, yeah, thanks very much, man. Thank and congrats you so much. again. I appreciate it. Thank no you so problem, much for man. coming down. Thank yeah, you. take care.